Hey guys, I've been out of country for a while, been down in Peru and in Senegal and uh, down in Namibia. But anyway, finally got back and it's like Christmas. This, you guys have uh, sent me quite a pile of stuff here to work my way through, in addition to some locks that I bought uh, in Peru, thought I'd give a shot at. But this is the first box I opened up. This is from uh, Eric and his uh, YouTube username is uh, EJ Lockpicks. I went ahead and marked all the locks with his name. I actually thought this box was for somebody else who wanted me to transship this to Poland, but it turned out to be mine, so thank you, Eric. Anyway, Eric included a nice letter here, and he gives me a little bit of history and warning on these locks. Let's see, the first one he talks about is this Master 6835 Lotto, so that would be this one. He says, uh, look can be deceiving, don't let this lock control you. Conquer it, and then with a little smiley face. So. Beautiful lock. I can only imagine what Eric's stuck up inside of this one. Should be some fun. Keep me busy for a while. Next one he talks about is the American 1100 series Lotto. There we go. And he says on this one, pinned up with some extreme trickery. Caution your tension on this lock. Well, those are usually a lot of fun. Uh, the Schlag. He sent this one because I did a review on comparing some herd locks with uh, several other manufacturers. And he noticed that I didn't have one of this style by Schlag. And quite honestly, I didn't even know Schlag made it. So that's why he sent this. And in addition, he says, I think you'll be pleased. And pleased is in quotes with the pins inside of that. So again, I think Eric's been working some overtime here on, these, on trickery. Um... He talks about Corvette security, and this is another one of those locks that angers us all. Uh, somebody cut this thing. Non-repairable, can't replace anything. And the sad thing about this, this was a pretty good lock. Um, it had the best core, E keyway. Eric says he managed to open it to control a couple of times, uh, but that's it. It hasn't had any luck since then, so I thought we'd give that a try. And the last one he mentions... Uh, is this one. This is a Sergeant Keyway. It's a Sergeant Kick Cylinder. LA Keyway, he says. And he says, this is my most devious lock yet. This is definitely not your typical Sergeant. So, you guys have seen me struggle with Sergeants before, and I'm sure this will be no different. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let me move this stuff out of the way, get one of these clamped up, and see if we can't get it open. I think I'll start of all the warnings, the least scary warning I think was from this one. It just cautioned me to watch my tension and it says some extreme trickery which is kind of less than what he alluded to in some of these others. So let's try our luck with this one. So let me move this junk and be right back. Alright guys, before we attack Eric's lock here, I forgot to mention he did give me all the keys for those locks. Uh, all of them are mummified in this little taped up thing that says no peeking. But we're not going to peek. That would be cheating. Instead, I'm going to try to pick into it. All right, I'm going to use an American, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a, a Peterson a pry bar. I'm going to go from the top end. You'll notice I'm using the long end instead of the short end to get around that armored. There's a little extra armor here, and this gives me a little extra standoff. And I'll be using a Peterson gem, 15 thousandths, the thin one. And I'm also going to take Eric's advice. I'm going to try to use very light tension on this thing. Let me get this camera just a little bit more centered. There we go. It's because he pinned it, so he knows. Let me figure out what we got here first. I'm counting six pins. These usually come stocked with five, so I guess Eric for sure did repin this for us. All right, I'm looking for a binder. Here's like five. I got one click. Three. Got one click. And one. I got one click. Oh, I got a serious turn. <laughs> a very serious turn on the core. I thought we had seized up on a security pin. That was surprisingly fast. All right, let's cut it. Let's see what Eric did put in here. Um. Like this Get the keys out of the way. Turn this down. We'll need those. And first, we need a screwdriver. Looks like a Phillips. And here we go. Desk is a mess today. All right. Looks like he had a little Loctite or something on there.
All right, he's got some uh, wafers in there. Uh, because they had turned a little bit, I noticed he's got two of them here. Actually, he's got three of them here. He really did not want us to get it to bypass this lock with a bypass tool. And let's see, I'm, I don't want to unwrap any of the keys, so let's try to keep this turned in the right direction here. All right, move the C-clip. If I can squeeze in there with a screwdriver, make life easy. I'm trying not to turn that core. I really don't want to unwrap the keys. Here we go. And we're still good. All right. All right, there's all six. Let's figure out what we got here. Serrated, key pins. Serrated, serrated. Plain or standard. Serrated and serrated. So five serrated and one standard. Key pin. Um, no counter milling, no threading. So he was devious, but not that devious. So far, everything's pretty much stock. Okay, that's just barely hanging in there. Serrated. That also is barely hanging in there. Really weak springs on this. This is a spool. Very weak springs. He didn't want to give you any feel. That's uh, another serrated. Eric, you devil. No wonder you said light tension. Man, there's practically no springs in this lock. Um, another spool. <laughs> Are these half springs? <laughs> Those pins do not even want to come. They barely protrude from the chamber. So we got another serrated and the last one. Look how they, all of them were like this. If I can get it to focus. Come on, baby. All of them are just barely riding up out of there like that. So the, the tension on the springs is practically nothing. And the last one was a spool. Let's take a look at our springs. Yeah, they're a little bit of short springs. They're standard, but they're, they're just little bitty short things. Here's two of them stuck together. There we go. Super small springs. I thought he'd cut them in half, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway, here's what we're looking at, guys. All the key pins except number four were serrated. And then on the top, he alternated between serrated and spools. We got three of each. So there's what you're looking at. Eric, sir, thank you for the lock. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal.